Hey, my construction entrepreneurs. Hey, we're bringing you the another um, contractor state license board examination study guide. And this is dealing with the general engineering A. And I'm gonna first start off by reading the CSLB general engineering A license description what you can actually do with the A license. Because a lot of individuals think that just because they get the A license that they can do everything underneath the sun. And that's not true. Um, a lot of people think, hey, because I get the top license and I'm covered no matter what I do. And uh, that's not true again. And then um, there's individuals that believe um, that, uh, that they should not get the A uh, for various reasons. But let me go ahead and cover the description. Then we'll get into uh, the things that's going to be covered on the state exam per the contract of state license board. So the description for the uh, general engineering A license, a general engineering contractor is a contractor whose principal contracting business is in connection with fixed works requiring specialized engineering knowledge and skill including the following divisions or subjects irrigation drainage water power water supply flood control inland waterways harbors docks shipyards and ports dams hydroelectric projects, levees, river control, railroads, highways, streets and roads, tunnels, airports and airways, sewer, sewage disposal plants and systems, waste reduction plants, bridges, overpass, underpasses, and other similar work, pipeline and other uh, systems for the transmission of petroleum and other liquids or gases, uh, parks, playgrounds, and other recreational works, refineries, chemical plants, and similar industrial plants requiring specialized engineering knowledge and skill, powerhouses, power plants, and utility plants, and installation. It also covers mines, uh, land leveling, earth moving projects, excavating, grading, trenching, paving, and sub. Uh, uh, surfacing work and cement and concrete works in connection with the above mentioned works. So uh, one thing you didn't hear in there is building a, a commercial building, multifamily uh, 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 housing or, or tracks or uh, dwellings. Um, you didn't see much of that in there. So you can't get the A license and, and you can go and build a bunch of track homes or a skyscraper or anything like that. Um, that will fall under the, the general B license. And if you want to know what the B license covered and what's, what to expect on that uh, examination, uh, check out the uh, general building B license examination guy. Okay. So we're going to get started with this here. All right, first section here, we got planning, estimating, and project management at 25% on the state exam. There are a total of eight major sections for the uh, general engineering A examination. Okay, number one is planning, estimating, and project management at 25%. And that's going to cover plans and specifications, uh, uh, estimating, standards, codes, and regulations, and general building mathematics. Next, structural principles. Uh, that's going to cover here, it's going to cover at 6% structural construction. Uh, safety, basic engineering. Next, you got earthwork and surveying. And they're going to be talking about 15% um, uh, of the test is dealing with earthworks, soils, uh, surveying, and site preparation. 
Next, we got subsurface work at 15%. And that's going to talk about shoring, sh shoring and sloping, dry utility and waterproofing, tunneling, drilling, and boring, uh, surface drainage and water work, Trenching and pipeline, sewer, water, and storm drainage systems. Next, we got foundation and concrete construction at 8%. And you're going to find on the test things dealing with concrete principles and placements, uh, forms, and false work, and talks about uh, foundations as well. Uh, next, you got buildings, structures, and related work at 5%. And that's going to cover uh, uh, dealing with commercial, industrial buildings, uh, mechanical, electrical, and plumbing, masonry, demo, demolition, and uh, disposal. Next is road work and paving at 6%. And that's going to cover a little bit of highways, roads, and parking lots. Next, we got safety. Safety is the last one on the list. That comes in at 20%. And it's going to talk about personnel, transportation, and traffic control, and environmental. Next. We always talk about the tech, uh, uh, test site policy. Very important for you to know. Uh, this is a closed book examination. No reference material may be used during the examination. All materials brought to the examination site must be left in an unmonitored area at your own risk. They're usually going to put this on the shelf or some type of desk. Uh, I would say um, um, you, you know that you, you're not really supposed to be taking anything in there. So leave your cell phones in your car. Um, don't bring in any electronics in there. Nothing that can possibly get you kicked out. Uh, uh, you hate to come so far and accidentally leave your cell phone or, or some type of electronic device on you because you forgot to take it out and then it goes off in there and you actually get kicked out disqualified and and have to fight to get back in there so uh just don't take anything test strategy test strategy according to the state license board they like to cover a little bit for you uh this is a multiple choice examination with four choices per question Examination questions are written to provide only one best answer. Some questions require mathematical uh, answers. A calculator will be provided as well. There's no penalty for guessing. If you are unsure about a particular question, it is better to try to answer the question than to leave the question blank. They will give you plenty of time to answer all the examination questions. So be sure to read each question and its four choices completely and carefully before selecting the best possible answer to the question. All right, right now let's go over some sample questions that you're gonna find on the test there. What type of connection is used to flush a water line? A, air release valve. B, blow off valve, C, post indicator valve, or D, the, oh, excuse me, uh, detector check valve. Answer is blow off valve. Next sample question that you'll find on the test according to the state license board. What is the most important reason for someone to supervise the rate of pour when concrete is placed in high wall forms? A, to prevent rebar movement. B, ensure proper vibration. C, to avoid cement pockets. D, to avoid form collapse. Answer is to avoid form collapse. 
Excluding any shrinkage or compaction, approximately how much backfill material is required to fill the void left by removal of a 10,000 gallon underground tank? A, cubic, uh, 30 cubic yards. B, 40 cubic yards. C, 50 cubic yards. D, 60 cubic yards. And the answer is C, 50 cubic yards. So as you see, um, you're definitely going to have to remember your formulas. Uh, it's very important that you get with a school that talks about math, teach you about the geometry that's needed, and teach you a way to, to remember formulas because you're going to need them during the examination. Okay, If a school does not uh, touch on math deeply, um, then uh, that's not a school that you really want to attend. Okay. Uh, very important, very important when choosing a school. Um, that's all we have here. Uh, make sure that you check back, turn on your notifications, subscribe. Uh, we will be launching more um, uh, examination study guides dealing with different classifications. If you don't see your classification up, you can easily uh, respond to this video. Let us know what classification you would like to see, and we'll get working on that if it's not already up. Um, but until then, thank, thank you for viewing. Like I said, make sure you subscribe, like, let us know that you, uh, you enjoy, you learn something, and we'll see you on the next one. Appreciate you watching. Appreciate your time that's involved. And uh, that'd be it.